Did I scare you? Gosh, I'm so cringe. I don't know why I make these videos. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Hope you're having a good day today. Hope you're sipping off some glitch energy. If you're not, go buy some. Link in the description. Code JMiles gets you 25% off. The flavors are absolutely amazing. If you combo the Ilu Aim Assist flavor with the God Mode supplement, I promise you, you're going to drop a 4K 20 bomb in your next game. All right, this video is going to be fast paced. We got so much to talk about, so much to cover, and not a lot of time. So hang tight, pay attention because we're going to cover it all. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. By the way, I'm going to be running two miles instead of one mile if we hit 5,000 subscribers in the next five videos we've already done one video and hit 700 so make sure to click the subscribe button i'm gonna record the whole thing me passing out puking explosive diet why do i even make these jokes they're not funny all right so we got three separate topics we're gonna be talking about today and we also have the golden nuggets at the end of the video we're gonna be talking about some confirmed content coming in season nine that looks absolutely amazing but just wait a second before you get your hopes up don't forget that toofy is still around we're gonna talk about what he might be planning out for season nine to destroy us respawn giving us a verbal update about the servers for apex legends and what the current game modes for war games could mean for season nine all right so let's start it off with the season nine content coming and what the mastermind toofy might have planned for the future let's talk about season nine map changes we saw this picture on the 100 million player update for apex legends they posted this and they gave you a little bit of a glimpse of what the season nine map update is going to look like for olympus now at first glance everyone seems to really like this map update it looks super cool a lot of people have nothing but good words to say about this but a lot of people are concerned that it wasn't a world's edge map update now we can anticipate season nine to include world's edge in the rank season probably split two but it's not confirmed and it doesn't entirely make complete sense because olympus is just now recently being used for split two of season eight so why would they go back to back splits with the same map a lot of people have also speculated that maybe this means that there's a slight world's edge map update as well we'll just have to sit around and wait but on top of that with this video that they released there also was a glimpse in the distance of a new legend this was similar to how they released revenant or how they showed and teased revenant in the trailer for Shadowfall, i believe it was back in october of 2019 basically you can just see the legend in the distance and before you go to the comments explaining why you think it's forged please just save it so now based upon some leaks a lot of people are very certain of who this new legend will be but i don't really like to cover leaks all that much so i will tell you all that we actually know not just from what we've seen in the leaks. Let me remind you that some of these data miners actually believed that Forge was releasing. So Apex Legends News actually made this tweet on Twitter and said, in the new teaser, we have Valkyrie, Death Note, Vincent Dynamics, Nessie, and then said, remember, showed an article uh, talking about a developer saying, we're thrilled to bring Apex to all Switch players in Japan, blah, 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 blah. But he said that I mentioned that a little bit about season nine, but the legend in season nine, I hope will be liked in japan so the apex legends news article headline says apex legends dev hints that season 9 legend will appeal to japanese players now i don't really know what that means so let me know down in the comments below what you think that means and right before i tie all of this into two feet we had ryan which is reptar on complexity actually i think he's on complexity maybe he left i don't know i don't keep up with him he said why do arc stars do more damage than a craver and stun you pvp also replied so you've been trying to get the arc star nerf blah 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 and then the competitive developer not a developer but the competitive person for apex legends that basically has a lot to do with the competitive scene said i think you'll have some good news coming soon smiley face so this is talking about maybe we'll see an arc star nerf i would love to see this because i think they're super overpowered only one problem toofy is still out there living it up nothing has happened to him no one is stopping him and before you just start thinking that i'm beating a dead horse i'm trying to get you to realize that this is a serious issue that never needs to stop being talked about until it is fixed here's why shiv is currently locked at the time of recording this currently locked out of his account from playing apex saying this on twitter sadly was getting focused by a hacked user who locked us out of the game i would have loved to actually get some more great games with the amazing choco bars and ginger i guess we'll have to wait till the issue is sorted out sage sage right sag sage i think it's sage chat help me fix me look i get it respawn doesn't know how to fix it they don't know what to do with toofy but we can't stop letting this go and just saying oh you know toofy's still out there there'll always be cheater shift can't play the game also we have the arena modes coming i can't wait for you to play them they're gonna be so much fun it's gonna be a good step and healthy step away from battle royale i think and I, i'm super excited to play personally i'll probably be playing it more than battle royale because that's just the type of gamer that i am and i have to be honest with you i'm not really sure how the servers are gonna work i don't know if it's gonna be like the same quality of servers that you're gonna be getting with battle royale I I would hope not because if it's three on three or if it's three v three v three if it's not but nine or six people in the game 
the servers better be top tier if the map is only the size of one poi in apex the servers better be better than what we got now, now i'm gonna read you a tweet from respawn talking about these servers and how they might not be as good as we thought they were gonna be oh it's so disheartening so make sure to stay tuned for that but i just want to say regarding season nine look the season nine content looks absolutely phenomenal in my opinion top tier it's going to be one of the better seasons that we've had i think it's going to be up there with season three season seven i think it's really that good all i'm trying to say is before you get your hopes up and before you're stupid like me and take off of work for season nine and you're so excited and you can't ready for the launch i'm just saying don't be surprised when toofy's like shutting down all the servers in the game so regarding these servers we saw a conversation on twitter with the director of communications ryan rigney a very good representative for respawn by the way but rogue was not afraid to speak up and say the hard truth ryan ridney said this have been working on the apex engineers on a servers code net or net code and tick rate dev blog it's coming in two weeks so they're going to be acknowledging and explaining the biggest issues with the servers explore recent and upcoming improvements contains a likely oh gosh <laughs> contains a likely controversial but interesting rant about tick rate now you know when he says that that means that they're not going to be able to upgrade the tick rate like we want them to rogue not afraid to call him out said uh oh a rant about why they can't and won't or can't or aren't able to upgrade the tick rate sounds sad already and look man I, it's the truth i mean i mean i don't know the way to say this like you got to look at it from both perspectives look you got to take respawn side because at the end of the day i know that they want the game to be the best it possibly can I truly believe that if it was that easy to make the tick rate higher, make the servers that much better, it would be done. Obviously, we know that because they are not obviously coming to work trying to destroy their game, even though it seems like they are. But then on the other side, it's like, look, you're a billion dollar game. There's no excuses as to why you can't make it happen. Other games are making it happen. You make it happen. But I do want to note that this conversation between Ryan and Rogue was totally civil. There was no beef whatsoever. It wasn't some kind of huge argument or huge debate because Ryan's never that type of guy anyways. But at the end of the day, I mean, it is a sad situation. So let me know down in the comments what side you're on with this. All right, moving on to the next topic of the video. We got some beef with some Apex YouTubers, some leakers, data miners, whatever. You guys know the situation. We've talked about it in the past. I'm not really going into that situation anymore. There's a new situation that has arised that I want to cover. This was crazy. This is insane to me. So most of you have probably heard of this YouTuber named Kijana. He's been around the Apex YouTube content scene since about as long as I have, maybe even longer than I have. But we've been friends for quite some time. The dude is absolutely just like a golden boy. I mean, just he's a very nice guy. It means no harm to absolutely anyone. Just an overall genuine guy. And of course, Kijana is now one of the probably 500 million users that is now blocked by this data miner known as Tobias. Now, supposedly this data miner blocks people because they use his content without his permission or without giving credit. But yet there are so many people who don't even make YouTube videos that are just randomly blocked by this guy. No one really knows why. Well, a couple of days ago, this guy copyright strikes the man, the myth, the legend Kijana and takes his video down for data mine content. Of course, he lost the battle because he doesn't own the content he does. He did the work that so many others have already done. Who knows if he did it himself, but it doesn't matter. It's not his content. He's stealing this stuff from EA anyway, just like all the other data miners are. The risk that you take by showing leaks is just whether or not EA is going to do anything. If EA and Respawn says, look, we have no problem with it. It's our fault for letting it get out. Then go ahead and post away. Then whatever. It is what it is. And while it may be okay to post, if they say that, it doesn't make it your content. Even Josh Medina replying to Tobias last year saying, how about we bring some more repercussions for people leaking content? in 2021 now that is still actually yet to be done i don't know anyone who's been banned on youtube for doing data mine content i only know of ic being banned for the glitches and toofy being banned because well you know he's toofy but it just amazes me that like you would actually think that you would win a copyright strike by saying that you own the rights to this content that you just stole from ea i mean I, I don't understand. And this is part of the reason that I don't post leaks anymore because I don't really care. I mean, sometimes I talk about it, but most of the time I just like for us to sit down, relax, drink glitch energy and watch all this crap unfold on Twitter. And while I do that, I still incorporate all the news of what's coming into the game, what's new to the game, what they're bringing in the next season, what they're bringing in another event. I always talk about it and incorporate it in my videos 
just not doing leaks. Every now and then there's a slight exception, but just mostly not. And for two reasons, really. Number one is I want to protect myself. This kind of stuff is definitely lawsuit worthy, and I don't ever want to find myself in that situation. And number two, it's not my content. My content now is being goofy, acting stupid, glitch energy, pros mad, clickbaiting. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, I forgot to put this at the beginning of the video. Look, I want you guys to go down in the comments and roast me in a way by doing this. Create a fake title, which you think my next video might be called. Make it as clickbait as possible. Something that I, I mean, I laugh so hard when people make fun of my titles like pros mad and dot dot and respawn actually did it finally did i love those things so roast me down in the comments with the most clickbait title that you could see me doing i think it's hilarious I'm supposed to do this at the beginning of the video but i forgot so if no one does it maybe i'll just do it next video all right so welcome to the golden nuggets part of the video if you guys are new to this this is where we give a little bit of information that's not really good enough to make a full video out of but as always if you made it this far make sure to comment down below golden nugget and also for anyone who's a regular to the golden nuggets and you're always watching the golden nuggets and you're always commenting golden nuggets we got got some merch coming soon and you guarantee you that golden nuggets are going to be on a shirt that and she I'm sorry, I had to do it. Anyways, the Golden Nugget is this. Look, the game modes for War Games have been, honestly, in my opinion, absolutely amazing. I'm glad to see something new. And what I want to talk about is Synergy Inspire actually said this on Twitter. And in my opinion, this is a good news because this is someone who also is kind of like me, you know, got some issues with the game, but also really likes the game and wants to like the game, wants to see improvement. And he said this, this is probably the best game mode they have had since solos and he was talking about the second chance game mode the first one that came out where basically you got two lives and i think that all of these game modes that we are seeing are nothing but tests of what they might do permanently in the future of season nine when you get stuff like shield regen health regen and automatically getting teammates banners i think these are small changes that could really help people have a better overall experience with apex in the future all right make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel for some more apex legends content like this also don't forget if we hit 5,000 subscribers on the next five videos this is the second one we're already at 700 that we will do a two mile run i'll probably do it live i'll probably pass out but i think it'll be a fun experience and i need it because i need to lose weight i'll see you all in the next one it's fiber die only positivity see you all in the next one peace